Hey everyone, welcome back to Dreamy Data. Today, we have an incredibly fascinating topic for you. We're going to explore the competitive spirit of two remarkable countries, Denmark and Ireland. From the Vikings to the Celtic Tigers, we'll dive into their histories, cultures, and modern day achievements. Let's get started. First, let's journey back in time to the era of the Vikings. The Vikings, often romanticized as fierce warriors, were a multifaceted people with a rich tapestry of skills and adaptations. Their ability to adapt to different environments and integrate with various cultures they encountered was a testament to their resilience and resourcefulness. Highlighting their prowess not just in battle, but in trade, agriculture, and exploration. The Viking economy, trading across continents. The Vikings were not merely raiders, they were astute traders who established extensive trade networks that spanned across Europe, the Middle East, and even parts of Asia. These trade routes facilitated the exchange of goods, culture, and ideas, making the Vikings a pivotal part of the medieval global economy. Trade Routes and Goods Viking trade routes were vast and varied. They navigated the rivers of Russia to reach the Byzantine Empire and the Abbasid Caliphate, traveled overland to the markets of the Mediterranean, and sailed the North Atlantic to trade with the British Isles and beyond. The goods they traded were equally diverse, including, amber from the Baltic region, furs from the Scandinavian forests, slaves captured during their raids, ivory from walrus tusks, silver coins and jewelry, spices and silks from the east. Agriculture. Sustaining Viking society. While the Vikings are often depicted as seafaring adventurers, they were also skilled farmers who relied heavily on agriculture to sustain their communities. Now, let's move over to Ireland and uncover the rise of the Celtic Tigers. The term, Celtic Tiger, describes the period of rapid economic growth experienced by Ireland from the mid-1990s to the late 2000s. This era marked a significant transformation for the country, as it evolved from being one of the poorer nations in Europe to becoming one of the continent's most affluent. Several key factors contributed to this economic boom. Economic policies and EU membership. Fiscal discipline. The Irish government implemented strict fiscal policies, including reducing public debt and controlling inflation, which created a stable economic environment. EU membership. Ireland's accession to the European Union in 1973 opened up access to European markets, providing a significant boost to trade and investment. So, how do these two eras compare, and what do they tell us about the competitive spirit of Denmark and Ireland? Let's break it down. When it comes to historical impact, the Vikings left an indelible mark on European history through their exploration, trade, and cultural exchange. The Celtic Tigers, on the other hand, positioned Ireland as a significant player in the global economy with its tech boom and business-friendly policies. In cultural influence, Denmark's Viking heritage is celebrated through festivals, museums, and reenactments. Ireland's cultural renaissance during the Celtic Tiger period saw a revival in arts, music, and literature, further enriching its global cultural footprint. Denmark's economy is characterized by a high standard of living, a robust welfare state, and a strong emphasis on innovation and sustainability. The country's focus on renewable energy and green technology has set a benchmark for the rest of the world. Ireland's transformation during the Celtic Tiger era turned it into an economic powerhouse, with a particular emphasis on the technology sector. The country's favorable business environment attracted significant foreign direct investment, leading to job creation and economic prosperity. After exploring these fascinating aspects, it's clear that both Denmark and Ireland have unique and powerful competitive spirits. Denmark's legacy as Viking explorers and innovators continues to thrive, 
while Ireland's transformation into a Celtic tiger highlights its resilience and adaptability. Now, I want to hear from you. Which story resonates more with you? The fierce and adventurous Vikings of Denmark or the innovative and resilient Celtic tigers of Ireland? Let us know in the comments below, that's all for today's deep dive into the competitive spirit of Denmark and Ireland. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Dreamy Data.